fellow scientists! My name is Danielle and I am the founder of a company called Make Them Mainstream. I help parents and teachers teach you about science, technology, engineering, and math. And today we are going to learn about an amazing woman in STEM. Her name is Maria Sabia. Marion. Every Wednesday I post a new video right here about a woman in STEM and every Thursday I post an educational video about STEM or a fun STEM activity for you to enjoy. I just finished filming a September STEM challenge where every weekend in September I went live on the Make the Mainstream Facebook page to do a fun STEM activity with you. If you want to check that out and do all of those challenges then click on the link in the description below. Today we are going to learn about a woman directly from the Female STEM Academy subscription box. It's a monthly subscription box service that brings STEM right to your doorstep. In every single box, we learn about a new female in STEM and do fun STEM activities that are related to her. So today, we are going to be reading the book right from month one of the Female STEM Academy subscription box, all about Maria Sabia Marion. So let's get started. Maria Sabia Marion grew up in Germany in the 1600s, and at a very early age, she was interested in insects. Their beauty made her curious. Their movements fascinated her and she couldn't wait to learn more. What do you find fascinating about bugs? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and talk about bugs with you. Maria was an entomologist and an entomologist is a specific kind of scientist who studies bugs and insects. And Maria was one of the very first entomologists. She enjoyed observing and illustrating insects all day long. Maria would collect all kinds of plants, caterpillars, and other insects so she could study them up close. Her favorite types of insects to collect and observe were butterflies. She loved to watch how caterpillars matured into butterflies. Before Maria, people believed that caterpillars and butterflies had nothing to do with each other. Her careful observations proved that caterpillars turned into butterflies, and this was one of her most important discoveries. She communicated her discoveries by illustrating the life cycle of the butterfly called metamorphosis. Her drawings were very accurate. They looked more like a photograph than a drawing. And this is because she paid very close attention to the smallest detail. Throughout her lifetime, Maria would paint over 180 species of insects and their life cycles. What made Maria's work interesting and different was that she illustrated the bugs in their natural habitat. Why do you think it was important for Maria to illustrate the bugs in their natural habitat or home? Let me know in the comments below. Maria did not only study insects in her home in Germany, she also traveled across across the ocean to study insects in the rainforests of South America. Here, Maria was the first to discover many insects and animals that were unknown to the world. In order to understand more about these new species or creatures, she came up with a way to categorize each type of creature. Maria compiled all of her drawings from the rainforest and put them into a book. The book was filled with beautifully illustrated pictures of insects. Her book is still used today, not only by entomologists, but by artists teachers, students, and anyone with a curious mind. Maria used her artistic skills in order to become an amazing scientist because science allows you to combine all of your skills and passions. What skills do you already have that will help you be an amazing scientist? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you loved this video and loved learning about Maria Sabia Marion and reading this book with me, then check out the Female STEM Academy subscription box. Again, you can check that out with the link in the description below. Thank you so, so much for joining and learning with me today, my young scientist friend. If you want to learn even more, then come back next week where we'll learn about another amazing woman in STEM. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy learning.